Hey Internet, Eric here. Uh, it is Sunday, and if I am uploading on a Sunday, then you people know that it's Bloody Sunday. Uh, what Bloody Sunday is, it's a concept created by my friend Corey over at King Gore. And what it is, is you take a death in a movie, television show, comic book, novel, any type of media, and you just make a short video on it. You know, it could be one that you know, leaves an impact to you, one that's super memorable, or one that just kind of exists. And uh, with this upload being on March 10th, if you're in the gaming world, you know that it's Mario Day. March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, Mario. I thought it'd be kind of interesting for my death to, <laughs> or the death, my death, the death to be describing today is from the live action Super Mario Brothers movie from 1993. Obviously, if I am discussing a death in a film, there are spoilers abound. And I am the death I'm going to be discussing is the death by the death of President Koopa, played by Dennis Hopper. A little bit of, I guess you would say, description of what's going on. Mario and Luigi have been sucked into Dino Hatton uh, to save Daisy from the clutches of Koopa. Um, there's more to it. Watch the film. You, may, you might not understand what's going on, but that's what's going on. Um, the point in this part of the film is. Uh, Koopa, what Koopa has been doing is he has been de-evolving. Well, how do I say this? First off, the reason why Koopa is not this gigantic dinosaur lizard creature man is he has evolved from Tyrannosaur from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And his plot, what he is to do, is he wants to merge the world. So he wants to merge Dino Hatton with um, the real world, I guess you would say. And he has these laser guns. They're 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 the Super Scope Six. If you are in my generation and you know Nintendo. The Super, Soap, the Super Scope 6, say that five times fast, whereas I guess you would say the next generation of the light gun, this was for the Super Nintendo, and it, it was this big cheesy like rocket launcher type of thing that you would play with those type of games. Um, what he has been doing is he wants to de-evolve the humans back into apes. He, there is one cool scene where he goes into uh, Manhattan and zaps a man, turns him into a chimp. Anyways, we're back in the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and Luigi have, they each have one of these de-evolved guns. And it's the final confrontation, and they shoot Koopa with them. He's standing on this giant uh, metal walkway. They're both on this walkway. And it's kind of pretty, it's not too bad. You know, it's 1993. This is when Jurassic Park came out. And the visual effects, they're, they're hitting uh, Dennis Hopper, and his face is starting to slowly meld. And he's starting to get these reptile-like features. He's getting the jaw, the teeth, his head is starting to change shape, and um, he's starting to look like a dinosaur. There's a really cool scene where he pulls his hands up, and the fingers are elongating, and he's getting these fingernails. Well, that is interrupted because <laughs> earlier in the movie, uh, Mario had a bomb, bomb And if you know your Mario history, you know bomb bomb is this, this little bomb that has feet and just slowly walks. Mario wound up Bob-omb, bomb omb fell, and there's this long, ongoing journey you would follow of where bob -omb ends up. <laughs> he ends up walking underneath Koopa, and you get to see these little product placement Reebok shoes under bob -omb. bob -omb blows up right before Koopa is finally able to turn into his T-Rex form. Flies into the air, and there just happens to be a floating bucket type of thing. It's on a chain. It's moving back and forth. I guess, for the construction. Koopa falls right down in there. Mario and Luigi think that they have defeated him. They walk up to the bucket thing, and out pops a really good jump scare. Out pops this dinosaur-looking creature. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a puppet, because they did make a really cool Yoshi animatronic in this movie. Fantastic-looking Yoshi. And it's a great close-up. We get these uh, rows and rows of teeth, this gigantic pink tongue, and it's biting towards um, Mario Luigi. Since it's the 90s, we got to have these quips. Mario says, yo, see you later, alligator. Both the brothers hold up their fucking super scopes, and they're shooting Bowser with these, or Koopa. He's never called Bowser. They're shooting him with these the Evolve guns, and again, they shoot him quite some time. They stop, and then he starts to really start to morph. He goes from the puppet into a CGI-looking T-Rex. You know, he really does finally look like the T-Rex that he supposedly de-evolved from. But they hit him for so long, he finally folds over the, the, the flying bucket, I guess you would say, and he turns into this, like, primordial 
ooze and sludge. And it's kind of cool. We're following this CGI pile of snot or whatever it is going down from the, like I said, they're, they're on like a, I don't know, they're probably 50 feet high because they're on a walkway due to some construction in Dino Hatton. We're following this big giant trail of slime as it hits the cement. And it's really, really cool. It has this, this gigantic splash. But what I like about this splash is it's so disgusting because there's still like a film of skin and crust on the on the sidewalk to show that it's not all goop. You know what I mean? There is a little bit of Koopa left inside. So it's really nasty. This is a kid's film. Um, but it was a really cool death. Um, very unexpected um, of how they were going to do it. I really enjoy it as a, as of this recording, a 42 year old man who grew up with the Mario Brothers, who grew up watching this film, enjoying it. And you get to see some product placement with the Reeboks and with the fucking Super Scope 6, which was garbage. Um, it is cool to see the Marios in their outfits, not this, but in the, in the red and the green. Um, Koopa, Dennis Hopper hamming it up as much as he can. And then some decent special effects. Like I said, Koopa looks kind of cool when he's still in his human clothes, but he raises those hands. Those hands look so off and so spooky. And he's got the jaw that comes out here with the rows of teeth. A decent looking puppet. Some pretty neat special effects CGI when he's finally in his final form of a T-Rex before he turns into that snot bubble. So that is my bloody Sunday for this week. Super Mario Brothers. Bowser's. Again, Bowser. Koopa's death. Um... I really enjoy this film. Check it out if you like some stupid shit. Um, but anyways, that's it. I figured it'd be kind of fun to do Mario Day. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto just announced the date for the Super Mario Brothers movie 2, the, the animated film. So I thought it'd be kind of fun because no one dies in the animated movie. So I wanted to do this one. So that's it. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Do you love the Super Mario Brothers movie? Do you fucking hate it? A lot of people do. Um, do you have no desire to see it? Thoughts on perhaps what could be the plot of the next Super Mario Brothers film. Uh, if you remember after the credits, there's a Yossi egg in uh, Brooklyn. So that's going to have a major plot point. Um, lots of fun. Do your own bloody Sundays. All that jazz. I'm out. Cheers.